Awesome, and we're live with yet another episode into our breaking into PM podcast. Thank you so much for joining us, today, sir. Hey, uh, hi, hi, Suhas, hi, Sushmita. Really glad. Um, thank you so much, uh, folks. Uh, just as the previous episodes in today's section, uh, in today's session, we will be covering three main sections. The first one would be about you know sort of personal background, his educational professional background, and also how he got into product, why he you know chose to pick up this domain. The second section we'll go a little deeper um, into uh, Ola Electric, that's where he's currently working as a product manager, and he'll share some tips and tricks and some resources for you to break into product, and especially if you're looking at Ola as a group, um, don't miss that bit. And the last section we have some fun stuff lined up, so do stay tuned until the end. Um, let me quickly begin by sharing a little bit about Saurav's background and then handing it over to him. Uh, Saurav, like I mentioned earlier, is currently a product manager at Ola Electric Mobility. Uh, he is a 2019 MBA graduate from XIMB and also holds an engineering degree. Uh, he's worked at Deloitte Digital before this and also at TCS. And uh, I'm sure he has a lots of lots of these tidbits to share with us today. Uh, so Saurav, over to you. Would love to hear uh, you know your experience so far and why product management. Hey, hi. So, um, so as you have given a brief uh, profile introduction already, uh, I, I did my engineering from CET Bhubaneswar. Then I was two years in TCS. That was mostly I was into development. Then I did my MBA, joined Deloitte, uh, Deloitte Digital particularly. So over there, I was working as an IT consultant. Basically, I had two projects over there. The first project was luckily a B two B commerce implementation. Okay. so it was during that time i actually understood uh, what is a product since it was a client based atmosphere and we had a out of the box product called sap hybris at that point of time i understood that if you want to do something from scratch and have direct and want to have directly uh, more face time with business and that is what product management is all about and and, and it is during that point of time my girlfriend was also uh, doing her mba from iim lucknow so she had lot of product management interviews going on so uh, i thought that this is something really good and on top of that a uh, lucrative career profession also um, much more than it consulting so based on both of these factors i took a decision that uh, let me try product management if at all i could make it through and since that point of time i started preparing for product management interviews and all those things yeah, that's very awesome um sort of uh, going going a little deeper into this uh... I know one question that I always keep getting asked is how important is an MBA degree for product management? Right in the retro, do you think uh, that has a strong correlation? Or for folks tuning in who are thinking about, hey, should I do an MBA or not? Especially for product management, what are your thoughts? Yes, uh, I'll say MBA uh, to be uh, very blunt while answering this was. MBA I don't think is at all required. Uh, I have lot of SPMs in Ola Electric who are like uh, BTEC background and they are very good, extremely good at this skill. So I uh, definitely advocate that MBA is not at all a prerequisite to break into product management. But uh, having said that, but I definitely believe that having an experience of three to four years, maybe at least two years of experience prior to joining into product as an APM or a product analyst. is definitely required in terms of when i say experience i i don't mean uh, that you have something into sales and navigating into product when i say experience i mean pure sdlc experience you are a part of a software development uh, implementation either as a qa either as a developer uh, maybe a front end or a back end whatever or maybe you are a database uh, the you are in the integration team whatever but you are a part of a sdlc process where you have seen development of a platform or any uh, project taking place end to end so i'll say mba is not at all required but at least some level of experience of uh, it implementation or software implementation is definitely required that will be my answer to your question fair 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 no that's a great point um yeah i think uh, both schools of thought i think these are just schools of thought i think there's no hmm. right or wrong decision but at least exactly. i think for- exactly. yeah for product especially i think what you mentioned makes complete sense um mm-hmm. going a little deeper um you're currently working as a product manager at uh, ola electric and you mentioned you got to know about this while you know she was uh, you know taking product management interview so in this gap uh once you realize okay i want to do product management 
and to the time you got uh, the offer from Ola, how did that journey look like for you? Where all did you apply? How did you shortlist? And uh, you know, how did that funnel look like for you? In that point of time, when I got interested into product, uh, so it's it's uh, so LinkedIn. If you start liking two or three LinkedIn pages, and you know nowadays the algorithm of all the social media platforms work in a way. that it seems that the entire world is looking after product okay so i used to see lot of these product uh, posts yeah. and everything uh, tpf posts and uh, shushmita used to make some products and all so she had actually made a product on split of payments uh, for if at all you have uh, like a netflix account yeah. and three people are sharing it and all those things so you get all these posts you started reading all these things and then uh, you also get to see those uh, spm and adpm posts that we are hiring looking for product managers and all so i started pinging them whatever was possible since i didn't have a premium linkedin account or whoever allowed a free message or not i pinged them and uh, i luckily uh, I, i got an acknowledgement from ola electric that they were looking out for product managers and uh, they they would be actually uh, they would actually consider me for an interview so that is that was it that, that was the only opportunity i had and i was fortunate enough to break into that one opportunity so i, I didn't have multiple uh, product interviews to be very fair uh, like it's not that i'm uh, boasting about it but I, i've been pretty lucky in that sense so in terms of ma- materials uh, i'll say materials uh, I, i have read these materials only whatever is publicly available for example i read this book decode and conquer which is yeah. very popular in uh, like uh, like uh, that point of time tpf wasn't making these videos like how did you yeah. get into product and all a uh, year back so yeah. uh, uh, so i i i read these uh, in lot of places decode and conquer is something which you should read and uh, then uh, i had reached out to a, a senior product manager from ola electric itself like i got the interview call maybe on a thursday night or something friday was uh, a need and i had two days saturday and sunday monday was an interview so i just started searching in ola electric a linkedin page now you get the people section na who all are the product managers working there so i reached out to a senior product manager anurag mishra and i asked him that i i got this can you help me out he told dude i am in the panel itself i cannot help you out but uh, you can read this book how to crack the pm interview so i read uh, that book a bit uh, so these two books i read i read and then uh, i i actually referred uh, my, like uh, i get, got a brief from my girlfriend like uh, how do you Uh, like what are different categories of question you get a design question you get a rca question you get a market sizing question or a guesstimate question and uh, a different varieties of uh, rca question how does if at all bookings goes down what happens in a specific okay. app if at all uh, the cart abandonment ratio has gone up all of a sudden what do you do and all this thing so i pondered about it and the most famed theory which i think which is very much essential for anyone who wants to start product management circles i understood how do you use circles uh, particularly in a design question uh, design a pen for an astronaut design a food ecosystem whatever design uh, the most popular question what do you say design uber uh, for an elderly or whatever yeah. so uh, so i applied those questions though i had some sample answers i used to apply and think in those three days i prepared all these things and, uh, and luckily uh, I, i cracked the interview we had like five rounds of interview i cracked it uh, so that, nice. that was about it Uh-huh. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. Can I, if, if you're okay, can we go a little deeper on what are the kind of uh, rounds that you had? What were some questions? Yes. And if there were some specific resources that helped you prepare, because you had a short time, um, yes. and you cracked it, right? Luck or not, uh-huh. but you cracked it. So would love to hear your, you know, insights yes, yes. that actually helped you. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, there is nothing in this. I can easily share this. So. so i'll be very honest and also most of the product interviews are of uh, these nature only uh, like whatever i have heard from my uh, my peers my colleagues who are there with me ola most of the product interviews range from four to five rounds of interview but you don't need to worry that there are so many rounds what to do and what not to do there will be two uh, make or break rounds which are the first two rounds uh, they will mm-hmm. actually decide whether you go, well, whether they will proceed or not uh they might give you a leeway or some cushion in the third uh, round uh, okay and uh, that's it and the fourth round is the hiring manager round who might be vice president of product or the product head they they have different uh, jargons of calling that person that designation some company call it director of product some company call it uh, vice president software and product um, there might be something else i might not didn't might not know these are the two uh, designations i have heard of quite common and uh, so this is the fourth uh, round which you call the hiring manager round and the fifth round is a culture fit round or an hr round where he talks about uh, what is the aspiration of the company and all for example someone going into flipkart the expectation might be very different from someone coming into ola electric forget about flipkart someone coming into ola cabs 
and Ola Electric, the expectations are very different because that right. is an estab established setup. It is more about optimization. They might be seeing some drop in some areas. They want to have a product manager for optimizing those, those problem statements. But for someone coming to Ola Electric, you have to build products. You have to get into execution. You have to get your hands dirty. Okay. So uh, that is it. Um, so that these are the five rounds. Now I'll talk a bit yes. about the rounds. Okay. Sure. So I was, again, I'll say uh, luck does have a factor to play. <laughs> so I had two rounds. Both of my rounds, I had design questions. Okay. Uh, usually what happens uh, if, if you are, if, you, if uh, I'll say that two types of questions, which are primarily asked, design and RCA. RCA are a bit difficult to handle because usually the interviewer has a perception about the question. Okay. So they know that uh, if at all, they are asking you a 20% dip in uh, Flipkart's uh, cart abandonment ratio, uh, sorry, 20% raise in the Flipkart's cart abandonment ratio. And they have a certain way of approaching it that it might be because of some recent upgrades of the, to the app or because of some external reasons. They will try to drive it in that direction. And, and if your answer is not going in that direction, then you are definitely omitted. But a design question, the, uh, the person who is answering it, he is more uh, in the driving seat. He can actually take it forward. So uh, luckily, uh, I, I was new. Uh, and also, this was my first interview. If at all, I would have been asked a few RCA questions. I would have been uh, like uh, plumb. But I was asked two design questions in both my both of my rounds. My first round was uh, I was asked uh, a, a, a bit complicated design question for that matter. First, first was design a food ecosystem. Okay, by uh, it was conducted by a senior product manager. Uh, design a food ecosystem where I actually uh, I, like I applied circles and I designed it. If you want to discuss this, I can discuss it in the next question. Maybe, but this was the question: how to design a food ecosystem. And the second one, the second round was the ADPM, uh, Associate Director Product Manager. They wanted to, uh, he asked me a design question for uh, designing a camera for senior citizens. Okay. These were the two uh, design questions. Third round was, uh, as I discussed, uh, it's a uh, third round is again critical, uh, particularly for the folks uh, I mentioned, uh, like uh, those who are, uh, want to break into product, uh, product career, they're like freshers right from engineering college. So my third round is again, very important. Why did I tell for freshers is I'll tell you the third round is usually most of the product interviews is a TPM round. It is a, there is a position in all the startups and product companies called technical program manager. This is the person who is responsible for handling the development. You are actually in touch uh, with majority with this person, then also with the developers. So this TPM uh, is someone who will ask you regarding lot of uh, designer sprint or what is agile delivery uh, or uh, give us the fundamentals of a story or uh, what are technical questions how wh what happens when you write www.facebook.com what is an api uh, uh, or uh, discuss any uh, explain an api to a 5 year old kid usually the product managers of the first two round they will think about uh, well, how good you are solutioning it so they will ask you a rca question or a design question this is the fellow who asks you a more ground level question Three rounds cleared, then you're almost done. The hiring manager will talk more about culture, but he will not directly contradict you or question you something that, uh, that if someone knows good enough, uh, has good enough vocabulary and can speak in English, he will make it through what I feel like, uh, he will ask, like in my uh, context, I was asked like basic questions. What are your aspirations in life? What do you like? What do you don't like? What are your hobbies and all those things? So uh, that is not until unless you're too uh, like very different and all this thing you answer to something absolutely absurd, they won't uh, hear you, uh, reject you. Fifth round is again more of alignment thing. Okay, so fourth and fifth round usually this happens, but one, two, three are very critical round. If you if you are rejected, then you're rejected. You don't go for it. Got it. Got it. No, thanks so much for sharing that in detail. So that was really helpful. Um, one thing, if you can go in depth on either the first or second one, you mentioned two design questions. Uh, would you be able to walk our audience to any one of these? How did you approach it? How is the you know response? Anything you could probably take a couple of minutes on this? Yes, yes. The, any design question, if at all, any uh, uh, what do you say, a, a fresher or anyone or or even a seasoned uh, product focus listening, any design question asks you to apply circle. As simple as that. That is like, what do you say? Uh, that is like bread and butter of any design question. You have to apply it to get uh, reach a conclusion because they're not looking out for any features or some uh, some handsome, uh, out, uh, handsome, what do you say? Uh, product features that you can suggest that uh, they will be like uh, a big fan of yours. No, they simply want to understand what is your approach. And, and this approach, this comes good I answer will be one thing. And if you ask the same question to SPM level, 
Well, SPMs are also asked uh, design questions. What I got, got to learn from my colleagues, the, but the level of their answering would be much more in a much more mature way. What I think. Okay. So, chalo, uh, let's uh, take a question. Uh, which one? Uh, let's uh, let's take the second question. Uh, how to design this uh, camera for a single setting? So, first of all, in circles, what is C? C is uh, uh, clarification questions. Okay, or comprehend the situation or clarification questions, whatever you call. So. Ask what are the clarification question? Uh, what cam by camera? What do you mean? Like a standalone camera, like a like that Insta camera which comes, or a or a camera app? Okay. Uh, uh, so so to that uh, the editment to that the panelist replied, I take anything which you assume. So I told let's go for a camera app. So I told that uh, when you are thinking of launching this uh, unique uh, app, uh, do you have any uh, like uh, any cohort in mind or anyone in mind? So I told that I, I actually this was a foolish question. I told it was for senior citizens. I told yes, sorry, I forgot it. I got a bit nervous. I like that. Answer that like that. Then I told, hey, are you thinking to pilot it in any specific geography or something? I told uh, no. We can actually launch it pan India if you wish. Okay, I told cool. Then any device and all. Uh, so he told, let's go ahead with Android. It's a easier platform. And all okay. I told okay cool. With these clarification questions, then I told that okay. Uh, uh, then I told let us talk about the segments because in circles, what is the second one? I identify the segments. Let's talk about who all are the segments who will be using this app. Either they will be. I thought they will be either. Uh, what what came to my mind spontaneously? I'm just repeating you something after eight nine months. I came. What came to my mind? Either they're first time users, FTUs of uh, their smartphones or whatever. And then a second is their regular smartphone users or senior citizens who are regular smartphone users who are well versed with using some app or payments app or camera app or whatever. These are the two segments. I asked cross question him that do you feel that any other segment I am missing or something? He told no. Uh, these two segments looks good. Then uh, then what is the third uh, in circles is R requirements. So in requirements to all the freshers who are watching this video, I would say. Don't go. You people have mugged it up. All requirements as like as a as a user, I want this capability so that this happens. Don't go directly to uh, to this in the requirements uh, stage. Go for a problem uh, problem uh, driven requirements. So what is that? You jot down five or six problems first of all. Then you only what happens in the course of the interview. You buy some time for yourself. Because if you write directly requirement as a user, you will not get that much time and you will get confused. In one or two requirements, you will simply get wiped out. You will become all blank out and you won't have anything to answer. But if you write problems one, two, three, four, five in front of him, then he's also saying, okay, he will be saying, he or she will be saying, okay, or I'm not okay, or whatever. Then at least you will have a list of problems. Uske baad, it will be very easy for you to write. Once you have a problem, you will be just having a one-to-one -one correspondence of user stories against that. So you'll get a lot of time. Okay, so I always go for this problem driven. I always go for this. I had two opportunities, so two interviews. I, I went for this only. It is not like I simply go for user stories directly. But usually, a lot of people, if you look for a lot of senior folks, they say. But if your mind is sharp, go like that. If your mind is not that sharp like me, then go for this solution. Simple as that. So let's talk about some of the problems which a senior citizen faces. What are those? So there are a bunch of apps. They find it very difficult. Okay, that is one problem. What is the second problem? Second problem is uh, they find it. Uh, they they. Uh, Problem can be like problem is something they wish or that is a problem. Okay, usually a problem is they uh, something they wish is you see a lot of your parents sharing photograph like my mother does this my son in Bangalore just like this she will put it on Facebook. Saurav in Bangalore if I share a photograph I shared a photograph of me in front of Ola electric bike she shared it on Facebook. Saurav in Ola electric bike so so uh, see they want to share photos on social media. Okay, next thing is while using the app. Cameras have become all the more complicated with so many different versions, filters, and all these things. They want a very simple camera. They want a camera which can click a photograph, which can do a recording. That's it. Okay. Um, uh, that's it. Uh, maybe some aid uh, that can come in the way. That can be something they want. And another thing which I uh, shared from my personal life to the panelist, and he, uh, he was convinced, was uh, sometimes I find my mother, even if she cooks something or she does something. Yeah, she likes a sari. She clicks a photograph and sends it directly to me. So I actually, when when I went home, I saw her phone. What is the challenge? I, I thought about it. So if you look into galleries nowadays, there's so many different uh, like sub galleries. You have a gallery for WhatsApp. You have a gallery for Facebook. You have gallery for normal photographs. You click. You have galleries for different Telegram and all these things. So photos come in from multiple sources. 
So we know that okay, this is a segregation of different social media apps, and the photos of those different apps are are getting into different buckets. But a but a sixty year old person might not know it. So what my mother found was the easier way out is to share it with her child, share it with her son. And whenever she wants to access it, वो मेरा chat खोल के देख लेती थी अरे इस दिन ये साड़ी अच्छा लगा था इस दिन ये कुक की थी whatever she wants to uh, get into. So this was something uh, she used to do. So I thought why don't we have a one point sharing like a single. एक, Uh, your mother wants to share a single click she does goes directly to suhas or a single click she does goes uh, directly to saurav that is a way so th these are certain problem statements uh, i thought in my i discussed with the panelists and he told okay these are look this look good so what are the requirement now anyone does this in your head tell me what will be the problem of jotting down the requirement it is a matter of 2 minutes let's go to the requirements so told yes sir let's go ahead with the requirements first is uh, uh, they find it difficult to access the app it can be we can say that there should be a what do you say as a as a senior citizen i want a, a maybe a volume control button or maybe a specific i do a c on my phone to open the camera app directly so that uh, so so that i i access the app quite easily as a senior citizen i i need a gesture control or a volume control sensor to access the camera app easily okay as a user i want this so that this happens this is my first requirement second requirement is uh, what 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 was that uh, second was uh, social uh, second was uh, this i find it difficult to use so many features on the app it is very cluttered yeah. so i i i'll say as a senior citizen i want minimalistic features on the app maybe a button to click a photograph or to take a video and so that uh, the app is very minimalistic i need some help on the app which i have already pointed out in the problem as a senior citizen i want a, a video walk through Uh, video walk through of the app on the top left corner which i can play anytime i'm confused about a specific feature or on this there can be a acceptance criteria as a senior citizen i want the buttons or the text to be of a higher size so that i can use the app uh, conveniently then social media sharing as a senior citizen i want a social media sharing button so that i could share it across social media platforms as a senior citizen i want a single point button a uh, single point sharing button so that i could share photographs and videos i have clicked with a specific person Uh, on a specific platform, like when I'm onboard, getting onboarded onto the app, I can select Saurabh Mishra on WhatsApp. So when I do that, uh, when I click, click a photograph, I can do, share it directly. So these are a list of features or a list of requirements which I jotted down from the problem statements which I pointed out itself. Okay, so this became very easy. Now let's move forward in circles. We have done the C, we have done the I, we have captured the requirements. So the fourth point is cut through prioritization. You have a very simple way to do it. You have only given the requirements. i have given 6 7 user stories now you, you uh, i don't have a pen and a paper now but when you are actually appearing for an interview you actually carry a pen and a paper even if the video is on or not on while you are telling the requirements at least write the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 then you actually discuss with the panelist in 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 a in a real sense there is a rice framework for prioritization but uh, since we don't have reach confidence and all those things you can say we can, will basically analyze based on effort versus estimate matrix do a five point scale discuss this with the panelist whatever he is comfortable with do a five point or a three point scale you will say let's do a five point scale and say that these all are the features 1 2 3 4 5 on a five point scale effort is 5 impact is 3 effort is this much impact is this much you can and, and this is all uh, random guessing you don't need to be an architect uh, to make a pointing over here because that is not your role exactly when you are uh, that is why i told you need some sdl experience when you are into the setup there is a tpm there is a engineering manager who actually helps you to do this estimation based on that to do that and then you simply cross those features where the impact where the impact is low and effort is high so from five or six user stories you have a set of three or four user stories now so you are now c i r c l is nothing but list of stories you have those six to four jo ho gaya that four stories is the list of stories l may you don't need to do anything next is e e is evaluate so you again you know evaluate has this framework on google a a r r s then you talk about some basic matrix based on this category when you say acquisition number of downloads uh, the app has had number of photographs uh, like number of downloads would be the best basic thing which will be for this app when you talk about the second day activation now the dau mau number of photographs clicked number of videos made number of photographs clicked during day time night time and all these things because you might want to improve the features based on certain things then uh, on these aspects you talk about the different uh, evaluation criteria that's it you are sorted this is what i had answered and it looked uh, like he was impressed and hence he made the selection so that is nice
No, no, thanks so much for going in depth. I think this also helped a lot of folks understand the circles framework also mm -hmm. and an application. So that was awesome. Um, I think that gave us a fair idea about the rounds and, you know, what are the kind of questions and also one of them that we went in depth. Um, the, the last phase, uh, the last section of this particular session, uh, we'd love to hear some resources that help you if there's anything put in particular, you know, any blog, any book, any mentor, any community that you'd love to give a shout out to. Um, anything that helped you in your preparation that you'd like to suggest to everyone else? So PM School has this weekend challenges, which are like pretty similar to this. Uh, this they yeah, have yeah. these RCA, RCA questions and all. So weekend challenges are very popular and all. So that is something I would suggest that if you're trying to break it into someone, then uh, break it into product, then you should do those weekend challenges because I've seen a lot of product analysts and all getting into uh, product doing those weekend challenges. I had a junior of mine in Ola now. She was also in Deloitte. Uh, Shreya Saxena. She, she was like a winner in two or three seasons and all. So nice. so that is what that is that that, that is a good uh, thing. Apart from that, uh, I had access to certain IM Lucknow materials. Uh, like they all, they all these top IMs have their product management clubs. Nice. So, uh, so I had it like a, a 30 page or something. I re read those materials. Like it was nothing but a, like all these, uh, they had this, all the like different types of questions, which we talked about. What are the four types of questions? Design questions, then yeah. RCA, RCA questions, uh, then RCA questions, and then miscellaneous questions. Maybe make a dashboard for a NOLA CEO, or, yeah. uh, or maybe uh, you want to improvement. For example, there are like 20 deliveries, which are, uh, which are, what do you say? Uh, as a matter of delivery guy is doing now, you want to make it to 24. I uh, all, club it all in this miscellaneous question. RCA is where there is a dip. Cart abandonment ratio is going up or uh, the bookings of Ola is going down or the number of orders in Zomato is going down uh, or the average daily viewing time per, uh, per uh, for YouTube is going down. Uh, high, high ticket uh, transactions in Google Pay is going down. All the, where it is going down or causing a loss to the business or revenue or top line, that is RCA. And where you are trying to do some improvement or something or uh, create a random uh, sort of a thing, uh, a dashboard for someone that is miscellaneous. One is design. Design and number of questions. Uh, uh, is camera see camera for senior citizen, uh, pen for an astronaut, uh, whatever, yeah. whatever you feel and use a random cohort uh, for a normal app. You can do it. And people are actually implementing. You see FamPay. They're actually bringing in people below 18 years of age into uh, like uh, lending and formal uh, banking segment and all these things. So, and last is guesstimate question. We call it market size. These are the four category of questions. So they had one sample each of all the four questions. So at, at least I got, because I had just three days. So I got a fair idea. Achha, ye, ye category mein questions aate hai. So because you never know kya questions aate hai, So that is what. Nice. Nice. No, no. Thanks so much for sharing that. Uh, yeah. These are definitely great uh, resources. Um, sort of one fun question for you. Uh, as you've broken into product management now, um, to everyone tuning in, is there an advice that you'd love to give on what not to do as a product manager or what not to do to break into product? I don't know, this, uh, this fanciness of the job. Like uh, people yeah. think it's a very fancy job when you own a product line and all these things. That yeah. is something uh, too, uh, too, uh, like, uh, too much a myth which is going around and particularly which is attracting a lot of pressures because I've been a part of a few uh, WhatsApp groups and also where, where a lot of juniors are there. They're yeah. more, uh, what do you say, more fascinated towards the salary which a product manager gets rather than the kind of work they are doing. So this uh, transition of everyone getting into product right from the B school, uh, right from a B.Tech college or uh, engineering college. Is something uh, what I am seeing as a what do you say uh, is a myth uh, about this uh, career that it's a very simple career, particularly so many videos, so many things coming into picture. They say you don't require software knowledge, you don't need to be technical, you don't need to know this, so you don't need to do know anything, and you can bag a 25 lakh job. If, if that is what someone is trying to say, then that is wrong. That's a very big myth. You need to know a lot of things, particularly you need to know SDLC. You need to know software engineering. You need to know stakeholder management. You need to know understand business. At least if you don't understand, you have to sit with them and uh, have to draw conclusions what they are trying to say, and then uh, have a system design in your mind. Do a system design in your mind. Then only you can break into this career. Okay, so it's not what you can break into easily because so much gain is there on public. Like these are the yeah. questions, these are the things, and all these things. You will find it very difficult. So rather getting into a developer role, learning, if at all, giving one or two years, because this is something that is a natural corollary. I have a very good friend from Visa. She was a developer over there for five years. She joined Ola as a product manager. So 
इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग एज ए डेवलपर यू एक्चुअली अंडरस्टैंड कि यार ये करना है कि नहीं करना है टू थ्री इयर्स यू अंडरस्टैंड सिस्टम एंड ऑल दिस थिंग्स देन यू हैव अ गुड सैलरी एंड ऑल्सो एंड वेन यू जम्प इन यू स्विच यू गेट अक ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट सो इट्स नॉट दैट यू आर मिसिंग सम ट्रेन If it goes, it goes. It's not like yeah. that. Career is not a stagnant uh, pond. It's like a flowing river. Okay, so you can actually jump in future switch and get into good companies, good salary slabs, and all this. Thing. So that is definitely a myth. I would say. Great, great point. I think so. Thanks for touching upon this. I think that's a great point. Um, with that, I think we come to the end of this particular episode. So, Rav, thank you so much for your time, for yeah. the great insights, and thanks so much for going in depth. In all honesty, I think yeah. lots of things to pick up for everyone who's been tuning into this. So, lots of learning resources also that you shared. Um, so, thanks for that. And uh, yeah, so Rav, if there's anything that you'd love to share with the rest of us, uh, we will also. What, so, just one thing that I'd love to ask is, how do people reach out to you if, if anyone's looking out for a role at Ola Electric, for example? What would be the best way to touch base? Yes, uh, so we uh, we have a skillet uh, job search platform. You just type Ola uh, hyphen skillets S K I L L A T E. There are multiple openings. I think uh, we have yeah. like very good hirings going on for product analysts and SPM level positions. There are a lot of hiring going on. Sure. Uh, so uh, people uh, can apply and uh, they do uh, get. And if you if you are like have some experience in all these things then you can directly reach out to me also i am there on linkedin very active i, do, I don't have a premium account so you can directly message me or something so if yeah. you have a resume i can actually refer it if uh, people are interested uh, so that's so so thanks so much sarav i think this was a great great chat and yes. uh, we'll definitely reach out to you for a part two but thank you yeah. so much for your time today sure sure thanks a lot sir